Hello everybody, welcome to Coach Ali Production on YouTube. I'll be your personal trainer during this dumbbell workout series for beginners. We're going to cover around 60 different exercises that you can perform using only a pair of dumbbells. Once you've completed this 10 day workout series, you'll be ready to start any workout series of your choice, including our limitless dumbbell workout series, which I personally guarantee is the most aesthetic body transforming workout on all of YouTube. You should work out to every episode of the dumbbell workout series in sequential order. During each exercise, I'll advise you on the three most important points to consider in order for you to do the exercises correctly and effectively. Our goal is to keep you safe at all times and ensure that you're targeting the right areas of your body effectively during each and every workout. Today's workout will consist of core dumbbell exercises focused on developing and strengthening your waistline and midsection. Adding core exercises to your workouts to increase core strength is very important for maintaining a functional, healthy body. Please make sure that you have some clear space around you free from trips hazards. And let's get started with today's workout. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the next workout in this series. All right, guys, these are press crunches. It's a fantastic way of working your abs. You can see what I'm doing. My knees are nice and bent. My lower back is pinned against the floor. And then I'm rolling up right here and dropping back down. It's not a hinging movement, guys. It's a roll. You've got to be careful of that. So your lower back needs to be grounded the whole time. When I drop down, my elbows are by my side. I'm just getting nice range of movement. And that's just assisting me lift up. I'm getting that squeeze at the top of it and really contracting those abs. Look at the dumbbell as you push up and just make sure you've got slow controlled movement throughout. There you go. This exercise is a road kill guys. It's an isometric exercise and it's a little bit harder than it looks. So you can see what we've done here. I've pinned my lower back to the floor and I'm maintaining it there the whole time. What I'm doing is I'm lifting my head and shoulder blades and I'm also lifting my tailbone. So I'm getting that really good abdominal contraction and some hips contraction as well. What you can do is you can tuck your chin in and just try to maintain your position for as long as you can. This is quite difficult, let's do it together. Let's just hold our position and let's go with steady breathing. You can see that my arms are vertical and I'm bringing my legs, keeping it relatively close. These are ankle taps, guys. These are crunches for your obliques or the muscles underneath your love handles, if you like. So very important to keep your lower back pinned against the floor. And you can see we're tilting to the side and creating a small letter C. That's basically what we're trying to do. I'm not crunching upwards. I'm not doing this. Okay. I'm staying nice and flat and just tilting to the sides. Now, if you don't want to use your dumbbells, lose the dumbbells and simply do the same exercise with your hands. There we go. And relax. Right, these are abs tucks, you guys. These are particularly useful for the lower abs. Now again, you can see my lower back is pinned against the floor the whole time. It doesn't lift up at all. I'm extending my legs and then bringing it to my chest as far as it'll go. If you're more flexible than me, then you're gonna be able to get it a little bit closer. Now you can see I'm doing this weighted. So it's giving me a little bit of extra resistance. But here's the thing, if you're not comfortable with the dumbbell, Lose the dumbbell. Place your hands on the floor this way. And continue that action. All the way in, get the contraction. All the way out, get the extension. Very good. All right, guys, these are frog leg crunches. So you can see what I've done. I've got my feet together 
and I've got my knees spread. So my hips are open and they're basically not being activated during these abs crunches. Make sure that you're keeping your lower back pinned against the floor at all times. It doesn't lift at all. And you can see that my crunch is always a rolling action. It's not a hinge. I'm not trying to get up into a sit up. Okay, lift those shoulder blades off the ground. Look at your dumbbell as you come up and slow, steady action. There you have it. All right guys, these are some supine rollovers. Now you can see I'm holding up the dumbbell for a little bit of support. And then I'm extending those legs out, trying to keep it as straight as I can keep it. And then it's just a matter of rolling up, using those lower abs in particular. So these are fantastic for those abs that are harder to train, the weaker of your abs. And then we're just making sure that we're trying to keep those legs as extended as you can keep them, and making sure that you're keeping your lower back pinned against the floor as well. If you find that your lower back is lifting, shorten your range of movement. Just like this. Meet at the top and extend. Very good. Okay guys, we're working some glutes bridges over here. So this is fantastic to strengthen your lower back and your glutes and your hamstrings as well. If you're having trouble with your back, make sure you include this exercise um, in your workouts, always. Now you can see my feet are parallel, they're at shoulder width, and I'm squeezing with my glutes to lift. What I want to try and do when I get to the top of the exercise is have a straight line from my shoulder all the way to my knee. I'm exhaling as I'm lifting, I'm inhaling as I'm dropping back down. One last repetition, and relax. All right, guys, these are crossbody crunches. So you can see it's like an abs crunch, but it's got a little twist to it. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the dumbbell to the opposite knee, just like that. So this is not only emphasizing my abs, but it's also going around the outside a little bit and getting into the intercostals as well. This is fantastic for creating those lines and creating beautiful definition in your midsection. Now, Make sure we're going right up and extending. If you're not using dumbbells or if it's a little bit difficult doing them with dumbbells, use your hands. Get the palm of your hand all the way to your knee. One last rep. Relax. <clears throat> okay, these are V-leg drops, guys. You can see that my lower back is pinned against the floor and that I've got my shoulder blades up my head's off the floor and my chin is tucked in. So this is giving me ample support on my back. I've got full contraction in my abs. It's actually a good isometric contraction. And then I'm using my legs to get inside, get into those adductors while I'm doing this exercise. So actually I'm killing two birds with one stone. All right, keep those legs nice and extended. Keep the toes pointy. And let's work those reps. Very important to keep those shoulder blades off the ground, guys. Keep them there for the duration of the set. All right, you guys, this is a standing press. Now, watch what I'm doing over here. I'm extending all the way out and pulling in and getting into my chest. My elbows are tucked in by my side. So you can see my knees are ever so slightly bent and I'm standing at shoulder width. Now, press horizontal and make sure that there's no hips movement at all. I want you to push out all the way, and as you do, make sure that you're engaging your abs. Now, let's do a few more repetitions of this one together. Inhale, exhale as you push out. Let's do one last one. Good job. All right, everybody, we're doing some good mornings. This is a fantastic posterior exercise, really working your hamstrings, 
working your glutes and also working your lower back as well. You can see the dumbbell is placed at my chest. My knees are slightly bent. My feet are parallel and they're at shoulder width. We're hinging forward with a flat back. So we want to make sure that we're not hunching during this exercise. You push your tailbone out ever so slightly and you're going to feel it in your hamstrings when you do it. When we're coming up, when we're driving the concentric movement, we're using our glutes. Just like that. Alright guys, these are narrow push-ups or tricep push-ups if you like. So you can see that I've got a slight angle on those dumbbells which is just making it a little bit more comfortable for me. But they are quite narrow and that my elbows are tucked in by my side throughout the whole time. They're not hanging out at all. You want to make sure that you're not locking your elbow at the top. So I want to make sure that I'm finishing nice and soft like that. And making sure that I've got good range of movement as much as possible. The other thing that you want to watch out for is make sure your tailbone is tucked in ever so slightly. So that you're protecting your back and so that you're engaging your core while you do these push-ups. There you have it. Well done for completing today's home dumbbell workout with me, Coach Ali. I trust that you enjoyed your workout and I hope that we get to progress to the next episode together and continue learning about dumbbell training. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's build a beautiful new body together. If you're finished training for today, I recommend that you stretch and cool down with our physio Daphne. I've linked a playlist of her stretches to the end of this video, so be sure to take advantage of that. I'll see you on the next workout right here on this channel. Take care of yourselves and each other.